Well, it has certainly been an unseasonably, unseasonably warm fall, but we all know that winter is coming. And uh, we all want to help the anglers prepare for the hard water fishing season. The Baron of Burbot himself, Jason Maddity uh, from MaddityGetFishing.com, joins us this morning. Good morning to you, good sir. Good morning. How are you? Good. Are you, are you disappointed that you're not on the ice yet? You know, uh, my Facebook feed has been full of friends saying, I can't wait for ice fishing. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm kind of like, I'll use the boat and cast from shore as long as I can. I, qu I quite enjoy it. I think living on the prairies, as I'm sure you can appreciate over mm -hmm. the years, we like long falls because it just shortens winter. It shortens right winter up, up for indeed, sure. yes. So, uh, but, you know, eventually, once it comes, I'll be ready for it and I'll be happy to be out there. Anecdotally, over the years, we have actually been ice fishing as early as Remembrance Day in years past. Oh, uh, for sure. You know, like sometimes when you get those uh, snaps of minus 10, minus 15 in October, uh, with little snow, that paves the way to, to get out there. But obviously, on warmer years like we're experiencing now, um, we're probably looking what is more normal maybe that uh, a week or two into December. And uh, you, you need to obviously be very, very careful, Chris, because you need consistent minus 10 mm -hmm. and lower and, and really not getting anywhere near the plus mark during the day, you know, when, for your daytime high. That's really, really key. And no wind either, especially when that ice is forming, because you can have a nice layer and then you get a 60K blow, like apparently we're going to be getting this week. Right. And that'll just break it all up. So, so as we uh, kind of end the uh, shoulder season of the, the summer fishing season and we get ready for the ice fishing season, this is a perfect time for people to prepare for the winter season ahead. For sure, you know, a lot, a lot of the preparation comes in making sure if you've got like a, an auger with a motor on it, that it starts, you know, so be doing that this weekend, making sure that thing's going to work, that you've got fresh gas, all that different thing, different stuff. I brought over here a tune-up kit sort of in the front there. Uh, I'll just point with my rod. This is perfect <laughs> for this. Uh, this comes, it's Old got, school laser yeah, pointer. yeah, exactly. It's got like the oil. If you've got a two-stroke engine, it's got a spark plug, which is good for that. Also, just over on this side, we've got your auger blade. You're going to save a ton of work if your auger blade is sharp because you're just going to be sitting there bouncing if it's not. And, you know, the one thing, too, is if you do want to continue fishing uh, from shore, you're thinking the same types of clothing, mm. really, uh, that you would for ice fishing, like some of the stuff I brought here. you got a uh, fancy Dan uh, over here beside you. Maybe you can walk us through the, uh, the, uh, the, the suit vest here. For sure. Now, this one is... Uh, was developed for boat fishermen, uh, you know, particularly folks off the coast where they were fishing in, you know, zero degree water and that type of thing. And it is a flotation suit. So it will keep you warm and it will float you as well. That runs about $400. If you're looking for a more economical solution, of course, mm -hmm. uh, this is uh, one of my favorites. This is the guide wear. This is a really sort of heavy duty rain suit, but if you get it large enough, you can really layer underneath. And what's key, especially if you're still out in the open water, is just keeping that spray and that wind breeze that moist breeze coming off the water, zero degree water, and it'll keep the core warm for you as well. And of course, rubber boots that are insulated, um, you know, when you're cutting holes, your feet will get wet, but if you have rubber boots, they'll stay nice and dry and warm. And of course, there's nothing more miserable than being miserable when you're out, particularly if you're committing to a long day. For sure, and, and you know, we've often talked about it before that, you know, this is probably for the, you know, people who are not so about fishing like me to even be out there right. anymore. You know, when we're, we're around that zero degree mark. But you can be out, you can enjoy it, you can be comfortable, uh, but it, you have to be comfort. You, you know, you have to have the right clothing to be comfortable for the conditions. Mm -hmm. And if you've got that, you can actually have a chance at having a good day out there. We just have a couple seconds left, Jason. I want to talk quickly about gloves and, uh, and uh, fingered gloves versus, uh, versus full gloves. Uh, obviously, in terms of the small manipulations, uh, fingered gloves, if you can find a great pair that keep your fingers warm, that's, uh, that's one of the best investments you'll make. Absolutely, you know, and, and the one pair I brought here, you can actually, the, the, the challenge is you're going to get wet, particularly uh, when you're ice fishing because you're always reaching into the hole to grab your fish or lure and that type of thing. Gloves are kind of a pain because your hooks are hooking on them all the time. These ones that are actually uh, deer skin, they're waterproof, they don't hook the hooks as much. Uh, but if you're able to have those finger gloves that fold over like that, they can at least give you a little bit of fingertip manipulation, which is also a good tip that you brought up, as a matter of fact. Fantastic stuff, Jason. As always, uh, if people are looking for more information on you or the, uh, or the company, where do we find you on the web? Go to maddiesgetfishing.com. We're there 24-7 anywhere on the planet. And, uh, you know, make sure you go to uh, the Environment website. There's a great guide for ice fishing safety mm -hmm. uh, to get out there for the first time because it's really, really key that you're not the first guy out there. And uh, check with the tackle shops and the folks in the know before you head out uh, this season. Fantastic. Using the laser pointer itself, it is uh, Get Fishing. Jason and Jeff Maddie, thanks a lot for joining us this morning. Thank you.